What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and all oh, the celebrities are at it again. It is one of the most hilarious events that happens annually where a bunch of Z-list celebrities come out and say, If, if the Drumpster wins, I'm leaving. In 2016, there was Barbara Streisand, Brian Cranston, Miley Cyrus, Lena Dunham, Amy Schumer, John Stewart, Cher, Chelsea Handler, Samuel L. Jackson, Whoopi Goldberg, Nev Campbell, Keegan Michael Key, George Lopez, Neo, Al Sharpton, and Raven Simone. Do you know how many of them moved? Smash like on this video if you know how many of them moved. It, yeah, it's, it's zero. It's zero. You know what happens if you do move? And you need to access local content still? You need to use a VPN. Check this out. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. In current year, basically everyone should be using a VPN. What is a VPN? Well, it stands for a virtual private network. With private internet access, all of your traffic goes through a secure VPN tunnel, your IP address is hidden, and your data is encrypted. Private internet access is available for all platforms, Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and many others. They have a strict no logs policy. You can use one subscription to protect up to 10 devices at a time. There's a 30 day money back guarantee, and you can start getting your digital privacy for less than $3 a month. And reviewers love private internet access. CNET rated it as quote, spectacular. And it got PC Makes Editor's Choice Award for the past five years. You can access geo-restricted content from websites, YouTube included, social media networks, find better deals online, play games blocked in your region, and protect your identity by keeping your data encrypted. Pick up this awesome offer available just to my subscribers. It's located in the pinned comment below as well as the description. Start protecting yourself today. Ah, pretty smooth. So check out private internet access. Look, you don't have to use them, but I think all of my viewers should be using a VPN of some sort. And if you use theirs, obviously it's high quality and you also get a super deal in the pinned comment down below. Now, I always find it interesting. I always find it interesting when these celebrities say, oh, I'm going to move. Yeah, you're going to leave. You're going to leave the country that made you a multimillionaire. I don't think so. Exactly zero of them moved. And so far this year, we've had a couple of great celebrity hot takes that I just want to catalog here. I just want to catalog them to make sure, um, you know, if Donald Trump wins the election in 2020, then uh, we can ask them when they're going to move. It's not exactly a stunning and brave uh, issue. Um, but, you know, just a few weeks ago, do you remember when John Legend said uh, he was going to move if uh, Donald Trump uh, won the election? September 26th, he said that. Americans will have to start thinking about going somewhere else if Trump re-elected. Really, John Legend? A week before this, John Legend bought a $26 million Hollywood Hills mansion. A week before this. So John Legend isn't going anywhere. And unlike, quote unquote, most Americans, he could actually afford to. Him and his cookbook wife could afford to go anywhere in the world. And for whatever reason, I can't figure it out. Whatever reason, they stay here in America. Who could possibly figure that out? And I also think I want to, and I think it's fair to call out um, some of these celebrities on their blatant racism. You know, you may wonder, you say, well, geez, Amy Schumer, she's so woke. Why would you say that? Well, isn't it interesting that they all say they'll move to Canada? Why not Mexico? Why not Africa? Why pick Canada? A literally more white version of America. 
I just think that's I just think that's you know a question that I ask celebrities. And then you have Demi Lovato, uh, fresh out of rehab, apparently. I don't know. Demi Lovato on criticizing Trump. I literally don't care if it ruins my career. Stunning and brave Hollywood Z-lister. Yes, criticizing Trump is a negative career. Let's take a look at some of the replies. Let's see. Oh, here we hear. Tatsu here. Why you always lying? Some of the top replies. Wow, big risk taker here. Demi Lovato. Oh, just getting a new fan. Oh, interesting. 25 replies of that. I change the quote. I'm literally hoping this helps save my career. 375 likes. I mean, literally the least risky thing you can do concerning your career. So brave of you. I mean, it's look I, again, criticize the guy all you want, you know, but it's just hilarious coming from uber rich Hollywood celebrities who have literally nothing to lose by towing the far left uh, Hollywood line. These are the same people that were putting their money together to bail out peaceful protesters while sitting in their gated communities in the Hollywood Hills. We have the Hill now. Tommy Lee. Anybody remember him? Tommy Lee says he'll leave if Trump wins. I'm out of here. Let's see what people, the, the fact that you wake up every morning and check Twitter probably has a lot to do. Oh, that's a different reply. Hollywood sign. Yes, take them all with you. Haven't heard this before. Oh, wait. Yes, I have. And none of them went anywhere. Typical celebs. They can't give up the attention pipe. I mean, how does this not turn more Trump, make more Trump voters? Go ahead. He already looks like he left. The sh he left his shower years ago. <laughs> Mexico is easier than Canada. Plus, the liberals are not burning down their cities there. Just be safe. Canada, here I come. Interesting. Interesting you picked Canada. Remember after the 2016 election that the literal website to like immigrate to Canada crashed? That's how unhinged these people are. Look, here's what's going to happen. One of them's going to win. At this point, it's going to be Joe Biden or Donald Trump. One of them's going to win. And do you know how your day-to-day -day life is going to change? Almost not at all. That's the reality. What people should be more worried about is the gu gubernatorial elections, the uh, local mayors, governors. These are the people that actually affect your life. The president extremely rarely uh, has the power to affect your day-to-day -day life. Just think. Just think back. Okay, so in recent history, has your day-to-day -day life... Like, take the coof out of it, okay? Has your day-to-day -day life really changed between Donald Trump and Joe Biden? How much did your day-to-day -day life really change between... George Bush Jr., that disaster, and Obama. Did you did did your drive to work get shorter? Did 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 the food taste different? Did the price of milk waver wildly? No. Life goes on. And that's what people really need to understand. Yeah, everybody watching this video, including including me making this video, has somebody that they want to win. But you've got to remember that November 4th, you got to go back to work. There's that great South Park episode where like they, they think the world's going to end. And then they just wake up the next day and like, oh, yeah, nothing really changes. I see Turd is trending on Twitter. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm, sure that's a, I'm sure that's a spicy one. I don't care uh, who my viewers want to vote for. <laughs> Here's a, um, I'm a black patriot. says, America can always benefit from one less crackhead residing within its shores. I mean, Tommy Lee? Who cares? Demi Lovato? Who cares? Even if you like their music or their movies, who cares about their political opinions? And the best part is, I mean, this is what gives me a little bit of hope. 
every one of these articles that are kind of touting this, the celebrities are getting roasted. It seems people are getting a little tired of the old company line by uh, Hollywood celebs. And I think that's great. Look, I know that uh, unfortunately, some of my tweets have been getting a little more political. I just, I can't help myself. And I know it does turn people off. So I'll try to do a little bit better. And I know that when I report on like Hollywood people, it's almost always like making fun of them for their TDS orange man bad. But I do want to remind people that like, I legitimately don't care who my viewers vote for. Um, just that they strongly consider voting because it's something that people fought and died for the right to do. Um, and I hope that you'll consider that there's early voting. I'm going like two weeks in advance. I can schedule an appointment. It's very easy. It's called in-person absentee voting. Uh, at least where I live, I think that's probably the term most cities use. Um, and you can avoid the crowds on November 3rd, get your vote in early. Uh, if you're worried about large groups of people, you know, go at like three in the afternoon on one of those days or 10 in the morning should be pretty decent. Unless you live in a huge city, then it'll probably be busy all the time. But uh, yeah, get out there and vote and um, make sure you also, uh, if you haven't already signed up for VPN, you check out private inter internet access. There's a special offer for my viewers and it's in the pinned comment below. Protect yourself today for innumerable reasons. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.